Hello YouTube, how's it going? Uh, welcome to uh, Build Series 2 of the uh, CCL1 uh, Hard Body 4. Uh, so uh, we're getting ready to start step 7. Um, let's just go ahead and hammer down and get busy and get started. I'm anxious to get this build done. I'm ready to run it. But uh, anyway, so uh, part 7, we uh, need to get stuff from uh, the trees here uh, out of B and D. These came off of the B tree and the these came off of the D tree. Uh, excuse me. These came out of uh, bag parts B. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Wow. Take B6 here. Got a little driver here. Says here to uh, drive this into the, the hole right here. So go ahead and get that done, get started. Alright. together here. We have one link bar and two of these. And it says here in the book that they need to be 16 millimeters. So they should measure straight up to the size of what what that is. So smash does. Got my uh, old trusted rusty wires <laughs> here. Threads go to this. I really don't know how far I should go, so I should stop right there. Go ahead and put this one thread here. Wait, it looks like the picture there. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the thread, so we'll start there and see how it looks after that. Besides going here, and well, we got step seven wrapped up here. So, take one of our links here, and uh, pop one of them. We can get my other set of pliers here, 
See if we can get this now. It's kind of uh, awkward to try to hold. There we go. There's one. This other side here. pretty decently. Then we have our uh, bended rod here. Shows us sticking it in just like that. That one actually go this way. Something like so. Wow. And I believe that looks like that would be it for this step. Alright guys, so that's the end of uh, step 7. Let me go ahead and uh, get step 8 set up and I'll be uh, right back. Okay gang, so here we are on step 8. Uh, as you can see we got our uh, bottom mount here. We're going to be doing our lower arms. Uh, our metal parts here, screws came out of bag B. This came off of B tree. These came off of D tree. And this came off of C tree. So, pretty easy there. But, uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to uh, go ahead and slide this into place. Just like so. And slide this together. Maybe there we go. There she cooperated with the center. Separate a little bit there. <clears throat> and then uh, for your side over here, you want to make sure that your indentation bottom like that is, is at the bottom of the, and what actually is flipped over would be the top. And, uh, we'll slide that in up there like so. Great magnet screws. Magnet screwdriver, I should say. Alright. There we go. Well, they are C-Hub. 
So uh, the other side is going to be the same way, guys. So uh, let me go ahead and speed the process up a little bit here. I'll go ahead and get you guys through this process. But uh, the other side goes on just the same, but the other direction, of course. So uh, hold tight. And uh, after I get this uh, other arm and uh, A arm and the C hub put in place, screw it in. We'll, uh, I'll get step nine set up for replacement, and then uh, I'll be back. All right, guys. So uh, there we are. The ARMC hub and the bottom plate. We're all good to go. All right. So we have our parts laid out for step nine. Um, quite a few parts of this step. Uh, we got parts off of the M tree, B tree, D tree. Um, quite a few parts. I mean, it's it came off of quite a few different trees. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and start with this piece right here. We need to uh, throw our little valve cup on there. Our, our wrench here. Right at the top part of it. There we go. Oh, I thought I had it started, but maybe not. There we go. It's started now. Um, so you guys know too, this one is the uh, only ball cup that was actually a little, the threads were a little thicker than the rest of the ball cups that were actually in B bag. So all this hardware it came out of B bag, of course. So, so that ball cup that goes on this theory, I believe, yeah, I believe this is theory, um, is the thicker, the shorter, thicker thread. All right, so we got that. Put that aside. Put that aside. We'll go ahead and take our piece here. Let's see what side do we need? Get this side. And it shows these mounts going in the front hole. There are uh, little slot grooves. You guys can see that. And then inside here, there are little slot grooves, and that actually pops right into place. So, pretty simple there. Pretty straightforward, I should actually say. And this here is a M3 or MA3 screw. It's a three by ten millimeter. Get a little snug there. Put this one, same thing, turn groove with the first, first hole. Grab the same screw. Whoops. Oh, I just dropped it. Well, it looks like we'll uh, grab it and we'll do it. Alright, now I got it started. These here are our front body mounts. Okay, we now have that assembled. Before I lose my screw here. Okay, uh, next step is going to be set these aside here. My screwdriver. Oh, my pliers, wow, getting late, folks. <laughs> we'll set this into place. We'll snap these in. Hopefully. There we go. This one will be the same exact thing. Hopefully. Oh, 
know. There's a shine of that there. Those arms, all right. And then our uh, next step is going to be not sealing. Okay, we have a big hole here. So this sliding right into that, like so. this over steering here oh, there we go. that just slides right into place This will be a uh, 3 by 10 millimeter, which is this one here. Make sure we hold that together. Oh. Bang, it's nice at times, and sometimes it can be a pain. There we go. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that phone call there. Uh, so, go ahead and finish this up here. So if you need a small uh, washer, which is a uh, three millimeter, and we're gonna end up taking this three by 14 millimeter. If you guys can see that, it's a different style of screw. Slide at the top like so. So I'll wash around the best of the kid. I think, I think, just got it. Just a pair more. There we go. Should be uh all right, that's working smoothly. Now we uh take our mount here, front mount, and it shows it going in our front holes right there. So, we got her. These are going to be our 3 by 12 millimeter screws, which are the odd colored ones. Go ahead. Put them right here.
Alright, like I said, then one apple, which would be the uh, wheel well areas on both sides. Now our uh, front mount is mounted. Looks good. Now, let me uh, stand up here and take a peek. I'm going to make sure you guys are getting a good look at the uh, front here because with the mounts, I got to kind of leave it there. Let me move this just a hair. Just a frickle. Alright. I want to make sure you guys get a good shot. Okay, now. Here we are going to take our. Uh, Cups here, our joints, gearbox joints. And we're going to go ahead and get our grease. We'll just uh, go ahead and dip that like so up to the gear. And then, uh, same with this side, we'll just give it a dip. Not a nice amount of grease there. Just slide those right into position. It should slide right there. Slide together quite nicely. Put you guys a bird's eye view here. The, uh, the longer shaft one went on the uh, side over here. With the shoulder, they just meet right into each other. So, all right. Now, we'll grab our uh, axe for our front piece here. Let's just go flat and hang over. We are going to take again our uh, three by ten millimeter screws. That's what's going to be uh, holding this right here into place. Whoa! Hold on to that a little better, I think. Eh? using my drill, but it should probably make things go a lot quicker, but it does right now, so. Take again our 3x14s and a uh, 3 millimeter washer. And then our divot in here, let's see if you guys can see this. Right this is going to uh, slide and meet right into that. And it's like it's almost was meant to be there, which it is meant to be there, I guess you could say. Go ahead and get the screw in there and get our washer out of the screw. So, it makes this hopefully easier. Alright.
little bit more. All right. Let's just get a shot of that there. All right, it's looking good, guys. It's looking real good. Um, to this step here, like I said, it's just basically doing the same thing I just did on the other side, uh, which is this on the other side, and that is the end of step nine. So, uh, let me go ahead and shut the camera off for a second. I'll uh, finish up our other arm here, get this all uh, tightened up, buttoned up, get step ten set up, and now uh, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so uh, as you can see, we uh, got our arms, C-hubs, all that are up and good mounted. Um, our uh, next step here in the build is uh, going ahead and uh, putting our uh, steering knuckles, uh, All that together. Here's all of our parts, our dog bones, uh, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, start slapping this thing together. <clears throat> First off, here we need to put our <clears throat> ball and caps in place. And it shows it going in the uh, first hole. And actually, if you guys see, the uh, second hole is capped off anyway, so. That's started. set up. Next step is going to be popping our uh, metal bearing in place. So I want to make sure that's all the way seated. See the position. As we'll do the other side. As I uh, back our kinds of stuff down. All right. And I'll have those in position. <coughs> Go ahead and get these. They say to go ahead and grease these up just a tad, so got a little grease here in the head. A little bead right along that edge there. Go ahead and stick this right out of there. Nice and smooth. Same for this, we're going to bead right along that edge. Nice. Go ahead and stick that right out of there. Give it a quick little couple of spins. My 
my hands off here, get some of that grease. Okay guys, give me one second here, I'll be right back. Busy man tonight. Okay guys, sorry about that. Um, now, where were we? Okay. Got a little grease in there for that. We're going to take our, uh, one of our rubber O-rings here. We're going to pop it right up inside there like so. Have an axle here. Help push that uh, inside there. There we go. Hope you guys can see that or not with the lighting. But, uh, we got our rubber O-ring in there. Push that aside. We'll put the other rubber O-ring in real quick. Check. All right. Now it says to grease the ends of these, so I guess I'll throw a little bit of grease on each end, like so. A little bit much there. Okay. Tip this forward. One drop in. And then we take our uh, 4 by 10 millimeter screws that look just like that. Go ahead and get started for a second there. We've got our driver here. Nice and snug. We have another four by ten. Come to the top here. Let's start this. Nice and snug. All right. So as you can see we got one side done. We'll go ahead and flip her over and do our other side here. Again, kind of dip these in a little bit of grease there. Screw 
that last snorkeler. Okay. And there we have it. That's all in place, set and ready to go. Now, it shows us why they put in the top shoes in here. This set right here. Drop our two screws in. I grease off my fingers here. Red. Those screws go in place. Snug and voila. That there would be uh, looking like the end of the step. But anyways, it's not showing that, so I guess we'll we'll hold off. We'll not snap those in yet, but uh, so there you guys go. There's our next step down there. Our uh, front axles, all that are done. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, set up step 11, which is the rear differential, getting ready to build the rear diff. So uh, we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So. Uh, most of our parts came out of uh, parts bag C. Uh, plus we have our parts here that came off of the tree, the white tree with the main gears. Uh, so, at step 11 here we actually have an option. We can uh, set this in and actually have slip for the rear or we can add these with this and actually have a complete locker rear end to where it completely locks it out. Uh, which, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it a complete lockout. So these three gears here we will not be using. They'll be getting set aside. So I'm going to go ahead and get them out of the way. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and get started here. I'm going to grab some grease here, loop some of this stuff up, this is actually going to go together pretty easily, that will pop in there like so, and uh, that will slide right in, it goes together like, like that, just like ease. <clears throat> That's the first step. Then we take the plate here, like so. <clears throat> we'll need that, we'll need this. We'll have to put some grease on this here. Just grease this whole part up. Just give it a, a thin layer, I guess. Okay. i grab a, this here is a uh, 9 millimeter washer. It'll slide right on the back of that, like so. This will drop right into that gear there. And we can drop this straight into the heel. Like so. Oh yeah. Make sure it's on a good side. 
should line up right there would be good. Okay. <clears throat> now, I'm going to do the same for this side. Mix this up here. Have a nine millimeter washer. Slide it into place. We will drop that straight into the locky. Nice. Grease off the hands here for a sec. Sorry about that, guys. Take our other half here. Right straight in there. Right, squeeze it together a little bit, which we put our uh, two by eight millimeter screws in, which in our package is the small guys. You guys can see that. All right. Hope this screwdriver will do it. I don't have to have a different one. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Right, okay. Alright. Let's start it. I don't want to start turning too much down because it will pull. We'll have another one of our Two by eight millimeter screws here. Go ahead. Wrap it on that one and then get it started. There we go. Very nice. We now have a uh, locked out rear diff. So, uh, that there's that part. Let me go ahead. That was step 11. Let me go ahead and uh, get stuff set up for step 12 and uh, I'll be uh, right back. Alrighty guys, and we're back. Step 12. Okay. We have our uh, axle shabs here. Um, so first off, we're going to start with our uh, long one right here. <clears throat> and uh, it says to go ahead, do a little grease on the end there. We'll smear that in a little bit. Like so. Take a, a plastic bearing. It's going to go about that area there, I believe. Here. Okay. Um, it's pretty, pretty easy step there. Actually, I think it shows it side down so far, but we get the point there. Uh, next, taking a metal bearing. Just gonna slide in like so. I don't know if I should go ahead and get that one to reset that to you. I may actually just reset the whole the whole thing. And then another plastic berry. Let's reset the plastic berry. That will slide out like so. So it looks like that. Then uh, we take one of our E clips. Stuff out of the way just a little bit. 
There's a little groove in the shaft there for the heat clip. Take our needle nose, hopefully we get this first try, which we did. That's like my normal. You normally can't get it the first time, no figure. Try this again. Oh. <laughs> but anyways, we got it in. Um, so right before we go to sack these in, I think I'm going to grease, grease that up pretty decently. Uh, Alright, we'll grab our next one here. And again, some grease for our bearing. So I will bury down some more grease. Another bury here. You know what guys? I actually need to get something off the porch tree. But sorry, this just down here. I'll take it back off. I really need to get a deep arch tree here. Just now notice this part. Let me get the deep arch tree. There it is. Actually, I just saw those two. Yep, I actually had two of these. I was mistaken. I don't have to correct myself though. They are, I'm going to grab one more here. I have another one on the other porch tree. There it is. That off. Sorry, guys, I thought I was. Fully prepared. Walk my hands here. Clean these up just a tad. This one here needs to come back out. That's actually wrong. This looks to go in there. Then the bearing. Alright. Then same for this here. Slide that out. It's actually going to be the black spacer there. Then our bearing. Like so. I'm going to need. Another circle right here. Oh, I have done it, but I'm running out with the paper. Another E-clip. Slide that right to position right there. There we go. Maybe there, I got our first try. There we go. Voila. Okay, put that down. Next, short ends will be like this. We take our plastic bearing again right here. Right, get it grease. This one can slip right like that. And then our Like 
like so. Then you get the top, which we can actually when we do all this. Slide our E clip in on here. So it's a little bit easier. Snap our E clip in. Slide this on, like so. Slide on. A little bushy thing, whatever you want to call it. Slide our other bearing into just kind of into place. As everything falls out. And there we go. That there is it. What a step. So we'll set that down and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, set up for step 13 and I'll be right back. Alright guys, here we are step 13. Uh, we have our uh, actual housing case in here. Uh, <clears throat> this here is uh, piece A1. So we're going to start with this piece here. We also got uh, this is A2 on the tree. Um, we also need uh, eight three by ten millimeter screws. So uh, we got that. Now we're ready to go. We're gonna take our, uh, our uh, differential here, our locked locked out differential. We'll go ahead and take grease, get a good lube, so that way. Go through some water, I ain't gotta worry about it getting too bushy and nasty and plastic and rusted out. You don't have to worry about it. it. Should be good to go for a little while. But, uh, that'll be dropped in just like so. Okay. Then we'll take this side of our uh, axle. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead. Gotta get this uh, a little lubed up here. You see the inner sides. Maybe a little bit there. Go. And, uh, let's just slide right in like this. Let's go. Alright. See? Sit just like that. Other side of our axle here. So, oh, just a thin layer, you know. I'm not going to really cake it. I just want a decently thin layer. I'm going to go ahead and slide my bearing in the place there. Lock that in. And voila. The closer you guys can see that. Those plastic bearings actually have grooves that they actually literally slide right into, so kick walk. Alright, I'll take our uh, drive gear here. A little grease step there. Still some grease. And my fingers are a little bit too, so I think we're good to go on the grease one. So, uh, grab it. Drop it right into place, right like that. Our uh, bushing bearing actually has a spot to sit into. See, same with our uh, plastic bearing. Sit right in place. That's what she should look like. You guys have yours assembled, just like that. All right. So that time, I want to grease off the hands here. Excuse me. <coughs> <clears throat> now, take our uh, casing. There we go. Goes together quite nicely. Let's 
Give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I got a bit for my drill gun here, so we can move along a little faster. So I don't want to strip none of these out, I just want to easily let them in, put them in there nicely. It's coming together quite nicely, if you say so myself. But uh, I think that's where I'm going to end it here for Build Series 2 of uh, CC01. Um, like I said, guys, if you guys have watched one with the whole uh, hard body bit, um, Give me some ideas what you guys think for color-wise. You know, your guys' opinion counts. Uh, but yeah, like I did say before, I have a Facebook page. Make sure you guys go check that out. I'll put a link down at the bottom of the page so you guys can uh, check that out. And subscribe to my uh, Facebook and uh, chat with me on there. I'm all on there as much as I can. Uh, don't forget to up there at the top corner. You hit the subscribe. You know what? Now I think it's down below. Uh, hit the subscribe button. It's either up top or down below now. I think they put it down below. So uh, make sure you subscribe down below or up top, whichever it is. Uh, the bottom on this corner, make sure you thumbs up or thumbs down if you don't like the video. You know, let me know. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I uh, hope I see you guys on Facebook. And uh, appreciate you guys watching this, and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the build, and hope you guys are also build one along with me. But uh, thanks a lot, guys. We'll uh, we'll see you guys later. Peace. Make sure you subscribe for more RC action to come your way.